Hi everyone and welcome to another Gem Bear Designs video. In this one I'm going to show you how to convert a tea towel into a beautiful cushion cover. I've used a very basic cushion cover. This one's from Ikea. Um, it's a nice suede finish. There's my New Zealand tea towel. I'm just working out the layout. It doesn't divide exactly in half so I've done two thirds on one side and a third on the other more or less. Um, here I'm ironed it so I've got all the creases in ready. Now I'm trimming down the edges so they fold under. I really wanted to keep a narrow red edge on the design because I felt it looked really nice. So I'm just double checking I've got that red edge. But because I've sliced it at the bottom I need to add another layer of red just along the bottom there. So I've got the same red edging all the way around the design. So there's my ancient sewing machine, somewhat, I don't know, it must be at least 40 years old, it's from Germany. Great little machine, very lightweight, very portable. So here we are, I'm just lining everything up, making sure it's all straight, the right sides together, and just sewing that little bit of red edging tape onto the bottom of the design. So I've got that same red edge all the way round make it a beautiful design. There we go, just double checking that it's nice and smooth and then just putting another layer of stitching in to stop any fraying. There you go, you can see it whizzing through the machine. I'm sure we went that fast in real life. There we go. I've got that edging so I'll just go and iron that flat and iron it so that I've got that little bit of an edge that I want for the cushion cover. You can see how small my little machine folds up and I just move it out of the way. So easy. There we go, just having a double check, make sure it's all straight and level. And there it's been ironed, so I've got all the edges ironed underneath and now it's just a case of sewing it onto the cushion cover. Now I spent quite a while putting it on straight, make sure it was straight and then pinning it into place because um, you don't want it wonky. For this work to work it's got to be on nice and central and straight and you can see I'm double checking it all the time and lining it up and then I'm going to pin it carefully into place so that it is in the right position. If, um, if you wanted to, you could always tack it down. I just don't like tacking things down, so I don't bother. You can put enough pins in to hold it. It is important though to keep those, keep checking it doesn't hasn't moved on you as you're pinning it down. There we go. See, we're just pinning those in. There, I've cut out the bit of me pinning it all down. You really didn't need to see all of that. So now I'm just getting out my little old machine again and I'm going to sew that cushion co um, the cushion cover and the tea towel together. There we go. It's just, I'm just using a straight stitch. My little machine doesn't do very much. It goes forwards and backwards and it does the occasional zigzag. But that's it. So I've taken out all of the labels because they were getting in the way. It was getting very difficult to try and manoeuvre around them. So here we go. Just going to sew all the way around. Trying to keep the distance, the stitch distance the same all the way around to keep it nice and neat. And taking the pins out as we go. There you go, so I've sewn it all the way round. Nice neat finish, I'll just trim off all the loose ends and then once I've done this side, turn the cushion cover over exactly the same process on the other side. Now unfortunately I only got one tea towel like this and I couldn't split it exactly in half. So the front, as you can see, has got nine kiwis on and the back will have six. But I don't think it really matters. It's uh, it's a lovely cushion cover and I like it the way it is. So here we have it. I've appliqued the tea towel on both sides of my cushion cover. Um, 
and now just neat it all up again. You get loads and loads of loose edge strings when you're sewing anything together. And there's the cushion pad I've bought. Again, it's from Ikea. Really nice cushion pad. It's a feather one. Very firm. Really pleased with it. And I'll just put, again, trimming all those labels off. I don't like the labels. They're huge. But it makes a fantastic cushion. Very, very impressed with the quality of these cushions. There we go. Just finishing off putting that pad inside the cover. And there we go. It's all done and dusted. And I'm very pleased with that one. I did exactly the same process with a couple of other tea towels that we got from New Zealand as well. There's the sheep one, you can see there. And then we also got a kiwi one. There you go. I hope you enjoy this little video and hope to see you again soon. Bye now.